How's it going? Ready? Oh, it will be by the time the ceremony's over. All your guests have arrived. Good. What about the celebrant? Yes, she's here too. Patricia, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Hilda. Shouldn't you be with the other guests? Well, I just thought I might be able to help out with any last-minute itches. That's what Charlie's here for. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. Still, I know about the trouble you've been having lately, so I can understand the pressure you must be feeling. Jack told me about you being embezzled. Oh, did he? I suppose David told Jack. Oh, well, Hilda, if you're so interested in my private business, why don't you see me after the ceremony? I'll bring you up to date on the latest developments. Well, there's no need to get up at you. I was just trying Where's to be... They're standing. <laughs> They're all waiting. Well, I'll leave you to it. Come on. Darling, are you all right? Get the ring, Jack. This has really outdone herself with your outfit, darling. It's an absolute knockout. Oh, hold on. It's a bit crooked at the back. Got a cold one after this, mate. Yeah, say that again. Now, oh, come on, Pat. Ready? Then that's your song they're playing. what you think of me. It's just that... I kept thinking of what it was like when we ran away together all those years ago, and it's not going to be any different. Come on, we were kids then. I know, I know. It's just that... I can't come to terms with the idea of being tied down as just a housewife. You were so keen about doing up the house. You said yourself it would be a lot of fun. Well, that was when we had this place to come back to. I mean, it's going to take years to get that place in the country into shape. And, and the thought of living there on just your money. I'm sorry, David. I just can't live the way you want me to. Oh, come on. It's not as if we'd be living on the bread line. Oh, it's close enough for me. Maybe it is better that you walked out on me. If you really loved me, nothing else would have mattered. I do love you. And I know I'm sounding like that spoiled kid I was years ago. Yeah. But that's me, David. That's the way I am. I need money. I can't pretend to you or to anybody else that I can just get by like most people. And it's because I think so much of you that I'm being honest with you. I suppose I uh, should be thankful. You didn't leave it until after we were married. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. I love you. That's why I'm telling you now. Look, you're going to justify it any way you like, Pat. But all I know is you made me look a prize idiot. And believe me, it's going to be the last time. 